Okay. I'm Ed. This is my son, Zach. And we're two Canadian guys who are drinking weird beers. And one of us isn't wearing pants. What? No, no. no we're both wearing some form of... Nothing at all. Some form of plantage. Okay, so today... We're trying uh, a beer from a microbrasserie called Saint Arnould. I guess that's French for Saint Arnold. I don't know. It's out of the Mont, Mont Tremblant region, which is—is uh, is that the Chichi Fufu place? Is that like a lot of money? Mont Tremblant. Yeah. I mean, it's got Mont in front of it, so probably. Yeah. Anyway, I, mean, I think there's a lot of skiing there, so I can only assume they have money. And this is a Mexican-style lager called Muchacha. Ooh, there's the muchacha right there. Four <laughs> percent uh, alcohol, so it's not going to smack us in the face too hard. Unlike this woman, if we approached her, um, I don't know. It's a pretty, pretty plain kind of design for the for the can. But uh, I don't know. I'm curious. I'm curious to drink a Mexican style lager. It kind of looks like something you would get at like a stand at like Six Flags. Like it, it, it just looks like it, it. It just looks like it would be a can of like giant orange sherbet. Oh, you think you should just say beer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Well, I'm curious about that one. Oh, there's oh there's more. It's a light and refreshing four percent alcohol content. This beer's a lovely golden yellow. You know what else is a lovely golden yellow? I'm not saying. Uh, your, nose, your nose will delight in its wonderful herbal aromas. I don't want my nose to get too excited. Uh, when my nose gets delighted, all sorts of things happen. Uh, what else? Aromas of malt, corn, and hop. Corn? Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, you know. Is that what... Is, well, that, is that the part that, that makes it Mexican? Is the corn? I guess... That seems a little... What? Racist? No, they have a lot of corn there. That's what they use. It's like a main, one of the main staples. Low in bitterness, so it's a happy beer. <laughs> uh, low in bitterness because it found its true love. It will refresh you any time of day. Well, I mean, I don't want to have it for breakfast. Ooh, a breakfast beer. You know, nope. brewers around the world work on that, will you? Next one. Uh, oh, this is uh, another beer from uh, Brasse Maison La Voix Malte. The malted voice. Uh, they're the ones that had that uh, bitter beer that was really delicious yeah. last week. So, this one is, uh, oh, an oatmeal stout. Okay, if it's if it's chunky, I'm out of this video. Yeah, that just sounds gross. Four percent, but this is a light beer. It's a light stout. Can can you have a light stout? Does that make any sense? Uh, I don't. Know, we'll find out. This is a mellow, medium-bodied stout. Hints of coffee and dark chocolate from roasted barley. If and you say so. See, yep. Micro. Oh, uh, yeah. We have already established that this microbrasserie is in the Saguenay region. Which has perked up considerably since last week. So there you go. This one, though, does not have a tag saying it's a world champion. Oh, so we're taking a step down. Well, we don't know. I mean, I don't know what kind of competition is in the oatmeal stout uh, category. Mellow, medium-bodied stout, hints of coffee and dark chocolate from Rose Barley. Which are both things I don't like to taste in beer. So you've got coffee, chocolate, and roasted barley. This is the breakfast beer. This is the one you should have for breakfast. So, palate cleanser. Yep. Today's palate cleanser is a Don Julio Blanco. Now, Blanco... That, that's French for white. Yeah, yeah. It's French for white. Blanco is the youngest. The Reposado is aged in a cask, in, in a barrel... I think six months to a year. And then the Ineo is aged in a casket uh, for a year or longer. It's, so it's usually smoother and a lot nicer. And if it's 100% agave, say yes. If it's not 100% agave, say no, because you're going to get crap. 
And with that, no, not as nice as Reposado, but no. <laughs> you don't need to pinch. <laughs> I just, I just got the, the huh. I just got the tequila shivers. Okay. So, which one do you want to start with? Um, let's. I, I don't think we should start with the oatmeal stout. Because, I mean, I know a lot of people start their day with oatmeal, but I don't think you should. Well, yeah, I know. It's, it's the first meal of the day. So, but, you know, we're, we're uh, this is a post-supper beer. So. Yeah. Let's be the kind of people that, that have their breakfast for supper. Okay. So, we'll go with the muchacha. Ay, caramba. Let's see if I pour it okay. Does it look good? I can't see because my looks, fat hands are blocking. It looks, uh... Hey, that yeah, wasn't too bad. Yeah, that's all right. It looks like... I mean, it doesn't look... It, it looks like unhealthy piss. What? Which I think is a good thing. Well... I don't know. It's very... It's not cloudy like that other... St well, maybe a little cloudy. You can't see through it. Oh! It's not, not as cloudy as uh, the other stuff. Don't smell it. I don't know. I'm all stuffed up. My allergies are going bananas. But the little that I did smell was not particularly appealing. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, that smell, even even with allergies, it's, I'm a, it's really bad. My nose wants to run off my face. Okay, well, in for a penny, in for a dollar. Not bad. If I pretend my nose doesn't exist, it's okay. That's it. You gotta you gotta ignore your nose. Don't listen to your olfactory nerves. Like I can well, I can I can I, I can taste the corn actually. Do you think that's like uh. Yeah you can. It tastes like corn, smells like corn smut. Like what? Uh Wheat Lacoche. It's uh, corn smut. I don't even know what that is. What are you talking about? Speak English. I'll tell you when you're Speaking of English. <laughs> corn smut. Is that like, what? Is that? Yeah, it's, it's like, it's like old dead corn. Ooh. I think. If, if someone knows, please correct me. Old dead corn. Yeah. Ick. I think there's a blues band named Old Dead Corn. I'm Old Dead Corn. Yeah, you really need to be stuffed up with allergies to enjoy this. Because... And here's it, Old Dead Corn with <laughs> I've Got the Beer Swilling Blues. I got the beer swilling blues. Well, not the worst thing. No, but that smell is. It's so abhorrent. It's not pretty. If a uh, smell could be described as pretty. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure about this one. Well, no, actually, I don't mind it. I no, mean, it's. It's it's really decent. I think you have, I think you gotta do this. Yeah. Oh, that's delicious. Hang on, let me try. That's way better. I know. The only thing is there's a chance you'll suffocate. But you know, for the sake of a beer, what's a little suffocation between friends? Have some adventure in your life. Suffocate exactly. on a beer. Or, you know what? <laughs> this is the autoerotic asphyxiation of beers. 
Oh no. If you hold your nose and strangle yourself, this beer tastes great. If if David Carradine was a beer, he would be the <laughs> muchacha. Oh man. <laughs> Too much? Poor David Carradine. I look forward to your letters. The man the man was in Kung Fu and then that. But he was also in uh Kill Bill. Yeah, he was Bill. Yeah, he was Bill. Yeah, in Kill Bill. No, he was David, but Well, you know. But so we can <sighs> forgive him like you know, hanging himself in the closet and doing weird stuff. By his wee wee. <laughs> <laughs> just hanging on just that is wrong. Oh my god, we've got down a path here. Okay, Muchacha. Okay. That's it. Let's let's drive out of the swamp, shall we? <laughs> so Muchacha. Hold your breath and hope you don't pass out and it's not too bad. If you don't want to smell it, drink it through a straw. Don't drink beer through a straw. Ooh, yeah, through a straw. Yeah, kids, don't do that. All right, put that aside for, I don't know, later? Yes, of course. And the next one is La Gigon. I don't know what that means. I should have checked. You know, we don't research anything beforehand. Maybe it's... Because we're lazy and we're foolish. Well, Gigon, so maybe it's like, uh, it's like uh, French for like like frog gigging. What? Frog gigging is, is when you, you go like like frog hunting with a stick. Oh, that's horrible. I don't want to drink this beer now if you're going to be smacking frogs with sticks. I mean, maybe that's... I don't think that's what it means. I'm pretty sure. La Gigon. Damn it. I wish I knew what it meant. This is going to vex me. And I don't like being vexed. Don't vex a man. Nope. Don't do it. Don't. Okay. Well, we'll try it even though we don't know what it means. If it tastes like frogs... I'm guessing frogs don't taste very good. Oh, look how dark that is. Well, apparently, well, uh, what is it? Like they're supposed to taste like chicken? Yeah, I don't know. You know, people who say that obviously have never tried chicken. You've been to Vegas several times and you've never tried frog? Didn't you eat a scorpion? No, I wanted to, but I ended up having ice cream instead. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it was a choice. Well, you can have the scorpion shot or you can have some ice cream. What a 60 to zero. I know. Uh, If I ever go back, uh, I will definitely try the scorpion shot at, uh, oh no, no, at a place called Nacho Dance. They have great food and they have a scorpion shot. A shot with a little scorpion inside. And if you down the shot, it's a shot of tequila because it's a Mexican restaurant. But if you down, if you down the shot, you get to keep the shot glass. Wait, 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 it's a souvenir. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you saying that nachos are Mexican? Well, most of them. Really? Yes. Are you sure? They're not. No, they are. Oh, what are you guys doing to me? Okay, so let's try... Okay, we should have this front and center. We're going to try... Uh-oh. I don't know what that smells like. Let it go. I don't know what that smells like, and that worries me. It smells like a like a stout. Actually, it smells... It smells like a stout, you know? It smells like a stout beer that's been filled with rusty nails. Oh, wait, there's uh, something else going on there. There's some kind of berry. Ooh, okay, well... Is, it, is there... No, they didn't say berries. It's probably... No, it is, oh, it's chocolate and uh, coffee. Okay, well, let's just drink it and we'll see. All right. I don't mind that at all. It's... It's really kind of neat, the way all the flavors blend. It's super clean. Yeah, it's weird because stouts are usually pretty heavy. This is actually kind of light. Well, it says it's a light stout. I didn't think such a thing could exist. I've been proven wrong. Yeah, because stouts are supposed to be like, like, like stocky, like dwarves. right? <laughs> yeah, like what? Like you know, dwarves. You know, like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yep. 
And that's the way they sound. Actually, yeah, it really is. I, but I know I saw the Hobbit. <laughs> oh, what, what was that? The, the 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 big king there with the testicle face. Oh, the fucking Goblin King. Yeah. Oh my God! What a horrible oh. design choice. I can't believe Peter Jackson saw that and was like, "Yep." Yeah, he looks like he's got testicles hanging from his chin. Make it happen. Okay, back to the beer. Back to the beer. This is yeah, no, this is a. Uh, it's not too heavy, but yeah, and you can taste. You get taste hints of all the different ingredients: the roasted barley, the chocolate, and the coffee. Nothing. No, no individual taste overpowers the other. Man, these people really know how to make beer. It's it's not like I don't like coffee and chocolate beers, uh, or coffee beers and uh, and or chocolate beers, but. It's not like it's really not bad. It, it's like a cold pressed espresso, almost like an espresso martini. Except it's beer. Except it's beer and not like Kahlua. Well, no. But no, this is, man, you know what? This kind of reminds me. Now, in case you guys think we're, we're a bunch of like, you know, lights in terms of beer, uh, and that we pan everything that we don't understand, I have actually tried. Coffee flavored beer and jalapeno flavored beer and all sorts of weird flavored beers at a uh, microbrewery in Las Vegas called Banger Brewing. And if they over open up again, you should check them out because they got they have really, really good beers there. And they use fresh ingredients, which is why they they sell to a couple of local restaurants, and that's it. They can't bottle it, they can't export it out of the state because their ingredients are fresh. That's some tasty beer. So if anybody at Banger Brewery wants to sponsor somebody. <laughs> I mean, I would love to taste their beers in the video, but we'd have to do a we'd have to do a video from uh, from Vegas. Oh no. Ooh. That would be awesome. But um well, one day, they're in a dream. Oh yeah. But back to uh, these guys. These guys have it going on in the beer world. So far, these guys are two for two. Uh, Brasse Maison, La Voix Monte. Man, these guys know their stuff. They know how to make, they know how to make weird beers taste good. Yeah, malted. That is that, is that is the tall order. You guys got it going. Yeah, oatmeal malt, a dark oatmeal malt that's I, light. Come on, man. I did not. You're messing with my mind. The only thing is, what about it is oatmeal? Is it just it, like is that just trying to say, hey, this tastes like breakfast? I don't, I, you know what? I didn't even get a bre breakfast vibe from it. That's how good it was. No, because it's beer. <laughs> well, you know. You know, well, if, roasted barley. If you get a breakfast vibe from beer, call somebody. <laughs> That's it. They're, 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 they're a helpline. <laughs> All yeah. right. So, so this one is good. So, Gigon from Brasse Maison. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll research and find out what Le Gigon means, and we'll tell you next week. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm too lazy to look it up now. And Muchacho from St. Arnold. Yep. Hold your breath. Don't pass out. It's okay. Maybe drink it if you don't have a nose. That's right. If you've lost your sense of smell, this is the perfect beer for you. All right. And there we go. Yep. I think that's it. I think that's it for this week. So, uh, I don't know. I, I've, I've watched videos online uh, where they say, uh, click the button down below. I don't know what buttons are down below. Just just click one of many buttons. Or click all of them if, if you're brave and adventurous. Yeah, that's it. You know, I think if you want to if you want to know when, other, when videos are posted, it'll let you know. I don't know. Subscribe just so you know stuff. You know, I don't know. You I should, don't know what I'm doing. You should absolutely handle all of the PR from here on out. <laughs> absolutely. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not in this for the for the glory. I'm in this for the beer, damn it. It's all about the beer, man. And a little bit about the glory. Not so much. Mostly beer. What if what if you, you found a tequila that was like like ninety percent agave, ten percent glory? Sorry, it's got to be 100% agave. It's got to be 100%. It can be no percent glory. No, it's got to be 100%, man. Otherwise, it's a crappy tequila. All right, you heard it here. Glory makes a shit tequila. <laughs>
I have to be honest. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie about particularly about tequila. You can't buy this man with glory. No, 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 no. But you can buy me with tequila and beer. You, so you can absolutely buy him with agave. Oh yeah, hundred percent agave. I'm your friend for life. Nothing oh, else. Oh, up your leg. <laughs> okay, I won't hook your leg. <laughs> but you know, because dogs do that. I don't know. I don't know where what I was thinking. This is only four percent. What the hell's going on with my brain? Maybe it's the oatmeal. The oatmeal? Maybe the oatmeal's make me making me go nuts. I don't know. When was the last time you had oatmeal? Because, because it, it, it it's kind of like uh, kind of like routine medication, right? If you don't keep oatmeal routinely in your body, it does affect you. Really? Yep. Yeah. Ooh. Are you lying again? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like you're putting me on. This has something about original gravity. Eleven. Oh, degrees. Uh, wait, 110 P? 11, 11 apostrophe zero P degrees P. Oh, I think that's like the angle that it's kept at. What? Now you're bullshitting. No, the, for, okay, okay, this time I, I'm actually, uh, I, I think I'm actually onto something. No, this is gravity. I don't know. Man, we gotta, we gotta do more homework on this stuff. All right, we'll be back next week. We're gonna we're gonna go do our homework. Yeah, we desperately need to brush up on this stuff because right now we're just a couple of Canadian ignoramuses drinking beer. <laughs> but I think that's it for today. Yep, we're calling it a day. We're gonna do some homework. We'll be back next week. Yep, that's it.